no turn on red. You see the sign at more than 70% of all intersections in Cambridge already. But city leaders are looking to take it a step further. We really felt like it was an important safety issue to ban it citywide. Vice Mayor Alana Mallon is leading the charge. She says New York has long banned turning on red to protect pedestrians and cyclists. Washington, D.C. is moving in that direction, too. Mallon hopes it's a safety trend that spreads. Make sure that we're saying to our neighboring communities, you should be looking to ban these approaches as well. Yes, Council Carlo. Yes. Yes, Vice Mayor Mallon. Yes. City Council voted 7-2 to two to legally explore how it could pass such a ban, but acknowledged there would have to be flexibility and exceptions, especially at heavily traveled thoroughfares like Alewife Parkway and Memorial Drive, where no turn on red could cripple traffic flow. Cambridge Councilor Paul Toner was one of the no votes. I feel like we don't need it because right now our traffic department has been doing it for 30 years and um, rather than going out and asking our city attorney to do investigatory work, we can just keep going out and putting up no turn on red signs where it's appropriate. Cambridge residents are also a bit split. I think there's enough restrictions on traffic uh, and cars right now. But ask a bike lane user about the ban. New lane, new rules, yeah. You would make it feel safer, do you think? Yeah, facts, definitely. So now that proposed ban moves along to the city solicitor, manage, manager, and the traffic department. They hope to have some answers by year's end. And then they will have to discuss all of this with DCR and MassDOT, particularly those exceptions.